Welcome to the Everything Podcast. This episode, I'm reviewing Goth Opera. This uh, my review of Goth Opera may have to be split into multiple episodes, depending upon um, how, uh, yeah, depending upon time. Because as you will know, um, most episodes don't go past 20 minutes. So I try to keep that to that if I can. Without further ado, here is not my review. We're going to go through the cast list, uh, writer, director synopsis and release date and then will be my review so we have peter davison as the doctor uh, that's the fifth doctor janet fielding as tegan javanka sarah sutton as nissa richard armitage as rastalon micah bloffer as yarvin ewan goddard as jeremy and bob natalie gamid as ruath nathan jonathan as jake matthew mcquinn as eric and mike Ian Al Nazaza as Olivia and Newsreader and John Schwab as Victoria Lang and uh, Lydia Wilson as Maddie. Goth Opera, the book, the novel was originally written by Paul Cornell and this audio adaptation of it has been written by Elizabeth and Miles. The director was David O'Mahan. Here's the synopsis. Manchester 1993 at the time Lady Ruath an old friend of the Doctor's arrives on the planet to inform, Earth, to, to inform Earth's vampires that the arrival of their legendary messiah is imminent. His rising will herald an age of endless night where the undead reigns supreme. All that is needed is the blood of a Time Lord. In Tasmania, the Doctor, Tegan and Nyssa are enjoying the sun and plenty of cricket. When they are attacked by vampires, they escape unscathed, except for Nyssa, who suffers two small punch wounds to her neck. Compelled by her, her attacker to remain si- silent, she can tell no one what she's turning into. Why is Ruath so determined to see the descendants of the great vampire rise to power? If only the doctor knew the truth, she, she'd certain he would turn to her side, perhaps cu- cure the future of vampire kind, no matter how much humanity must suffer. Uh, the audio or the novel adaptation version of Goth Opera is based on the 1994 Missing Adventures novel, as I said, written by Paul Cornell. Uh, this version of Goth Opera was released on the 17th of July 2024. My opinion is that I loved hearing the dynamic between the Doctor and Tegan. I liked the inclusion of the vampires and enjoyed Maddie and Jake's dynamic. Without further ado, here is my review of Goth Opera. Rassalon delivers a warning about the Great Vampire. Rassalon mentions Omega. Uh, Rassalon reveals how the Great Vampire w- was defeated. We then have the title sequence. Two people discuss having each other as company. These people are vampires. Ruath introduces herself to these people. Maddie introduces herself and Jake to Ruath. Ruath reveals she is a Time Lord. Ruath introduces Jake and Maddie to her TARDIS. Ruath questions Maddie and Jake's ability to summon more vampires. Nyssa attempts to explain Cricket to Tegan. Nyssa checks in on Tegan's feelings regarding Namara. And if you want a story, featuring the Marvel, go and check my review of Torchwood Art Decadence. Ruath examines Maddie's eyes. Someone recites the legend of the great vampire. Ruath is believed to be a saviour. Tegan comments on the Doctor's cricket ability. The Doctor understands Tegan's feelings towards cricket. Tegan apologises to the Doctor and plans on going shopping. Tegan asks if the Doctor wants to join her. He doesn't. The Doctor does want a cup of tea though. Ruath speaks to Jake about his father. Jake's father is the great vampire. Ruath explains her plan to Jake and Maddie. Someone is shot and buried. This person is believed to still be alive. Ruath mentions an alternative name for Earth. 
Ruath recites the prophecy regarding Yarvin. Ruath names Yarvin the Vampire Messiah. Jake calls his prophecy a legend. Ruath plans on rescuing Yarvin from his burial site. Ruath's TARDIS dematerializes. Ruath, Maddie and Jake arrive at Yarvin's burial site. Jake helps Maddie understand their current location. Maddie and Jake question themselves following Ruath. Ruath instructs Jake and Maddie to dig. Maddie reveals that vampires are burnt. Maddie questions Ruath on this tradition. Maddie and Jake help Ruath find Yarvin. Jake, Ruath and Maddie believe that they have found Yarvin. Ruath, Jake and Maddie continue to dig. Ruath reminds uh, Jake to show respect to the deceased and Jake swears. Ruath believes that Yarvin needs to drink the doctor's blood to survive. Targan, no, Tegan even, wishes goodnight to Nyssa. Tegan apologises to Nyssa. Nyssa reminds Tegan of her and the doctor's support. Nyssa wishes goodnight to Tegan. Nyssa hears a knock at the window. Nyssa rationalises the knock as the wind. Nyssa meets a flying Jake. Nyssa questions Jake on his ability to fly. Jake mind controls Nyssa to open the door. Jake complains about the weather in Australia. Jake introduces himself to Nyssa. Jake believes Nyssa is telepathic. Jake knows that Nyssa isn't human. Jake bites Nyssa. Nyssa expresses her desire not to die anytime soon. Tegan the Doctor check on Nyssa. Jake asks Nyssa to not tell Tegan about her bite. Nyssa isn't able to tell the Doctor and Tegan about Jake. Maddie asks Ruath about Jake's whereabouts. Maddie suggests using Ruath's TARDIS. Ruath continues to mention the Doctor. Jake gives Nyssa's blood to Ruath. Ruath orders Maddie and Jake into her TARDIS. Nyssa's blood is being split between Jake and Yarvin. Ruath wants Yarvin to become Lord of the Vampires. Ruath mentions Gallifrey. Ruath complains to Jake about Nyssa's blood instead of the Doctor's. Ruath volunteers to give all her blood to Yarvin. Maddie believes that Ruath will die. Ruath disagrees. Ruath reassures Maddie. Ruath screams, Ruath is regenerating. Maddie and Jake don't understand regeneration. Ruath introduces her new self. Tegan asks the Doctor his star sign. The Doctor is annoyed at this. The Doctor doesn't believe in astrology. Tegan mentions the Doctor being grumpy when he first wakes up. Yarvin introduces himself. Yarvin thanks Ruath. Yarvin loves being part Time Lord. Ruath explains what Time Lords can do. Yarvin asks Ruath. Yarvin even asks Ruath to be his queen. Tegan checks in with Nyssa. Nyssa apologises to Tegan. The Doctor checks on Nyssa's well-being. Tegan mentions Nyssa's sleepwalking. The Doctor asks for more tea. The Doctor notices Tegan's dislike of cricket. Ruath and Yarvin discuss the current year. Ruath insults the Time Lords. Yarvin and Ruath insult this planet's native species, which we know as humans. Ruath details her plan to Yarvin, which includes the Doctor. Yarvin mentions the Doctor's reputation. Yarvin learns of a future sacrifice. Yarvin rewards Ruath. Tegan and the Doctor discuss Nyssa. The Doctor invites Tegan to a meal. The Doctor comments on his recent cricket performance. Tegan checks in with Nyssa. Nyssa reminds Tegan how she felt being checked on all the time. Tegan tells Nyssa what she's been up to today. Nyssa refuses Tegan's invitation to join her and the Doctor. Jake and another man disagree. Jake promises to work on being more patient. Jake is put on guard duty. Tegan and the Doctor discuss their meal. The Doctor mentions mentions the TARDIS's food machine. Tegan insults this. The Doctor reminds Tegan how time works. Tegan mentions the sun in Australia in regards to Nyssa's behaviour. Tegan mentions the Doctor's worrying face. The Doctor tells Tegan what a ply clucker is. The Doctor checks on Nyssa. Nyssa asks Tegan and the Doctor about their meal. Nyssa is walking so she gets tired and can sleep properly. Nyssa is also stargazing. Nyssa mentions her home planet. Nyssa apologises. Jake reminds Eric of patience. Jake refers to the Doctor, Nyssa, and Tegan as not normal prey. Nyssa mentions no. Nyssa meets Maddie. Maddie tells Nyssa of her future transformation into a vampire. Nyssa understands how vampires survive. Maddie compares vampires eating humans to humans eating cows and sheep. Tegan meets Jeremy. Jeremy knows who Tegan is. Nyssa disagrees with Maddie's comparison. Maddie details what fear tastes like. Nyssa informs Maddie that she has no family members still alive. The vampires continue to mind control Nyssa so she's unable to tell Dr. Tegan about the vampires. Tegan works out that Jake is a vampire. 
Jake calls religion a collection of lies. Jake challenges Tegan's ability to believe. Jake chooses not to kill Tegan. Tegan hears the Doctor in trouble. The Doctor introduces Tegan to a vampire. The Doctor uses garlic to neutralise this vampire's powers. The Doctor explains his stance on religion. Eric reveals he is from Manchester. The Doctor attempts to work out why he is re-encountering vampires. Eric is destroyed. Yarvin communicates with the Doctor about Eric's death. Yarvin lies to the other vampires. Yarvin warns the other vampires about the Doctor. Yarvin, Jake and Maddie discuss Nyssa. Ruath describes her plan to Maddie and Jake. Ruath calls the Doctor arrogance. The Doctor explains how a vampire is destroyed. Tegan mentions Delia Smith. The Doctor describes his previous encounter with vampires. The Doctor details his plan. Tegan and Nyssa mention Eric. The Doctor's TARDIS materialises in Manchester. The Doctor calls Tegan ordinary. The Doctor asks Tegan to explore. Tegan mentions British weather. Tegan informs the Doctor of Nyssa's self-imposed quarantine. The Doctor gets his TARDIS to open so we can find out what Nyssa is up to. Nyssa explains her experiments to the Doctor. The Doctor asks Nyssa's story join Tegan to explore Manchester. Yarvin compliments Ruath's banquet. Ruath updates Yarvin on the rising number of vampires. Yarvin recounts his past. Ruath reassures Yarvin. Yarvin also recalls the death of one of his friends. Tegan explains a grave to Nyssa. Tegan reads a newspaper. Nyssa asks Tegan for them to return to the Doctor's TARDIS. Nyssa offers to cook dishes from Charkin. Tegan believes Nyssa is being dramatic. Nyssa runs off. The Doctor believes that Nyssa could be transformed into a vampire. The Doctor and Tegan express their worries for Nyssa. A news story discussing the vampires is shown. Tegan takes some handmade medicine at the Doctor's request. The Doctor mentions human taste buds. Nyssa asks someone about the missing people. Nyssa continues to be mind controlled. Yarvin checks on Reese, um, Ruth's research progress. Ruath mentions her recent regeneration. Ruath asks Yarvin for a blood sample. Ruath still wants the Doctor. Nyssa relays her knowledge to Tegan the Doctor. The Doctor gives Nyssa the same medicine he asked Tegan to take. Nyssa resumes her experiment. The Doctor lists ways you can kill a vampire. Tegan insults the TARDIS. Nyssa's experiment has succeeded. Nyssa asks the Doctor his opinion on the morality of vampires. Tegan compares vampires to a starving man. Tegan goes to bed, as does Nyssa. Nyssa asks for Tegan's help. Nyssa does. Nyssa now has vampire teeth. Nyssa calls herself weak. Nyssa tries to eat Tegan. Tegan hopes that the real Nyssa still exists. Tegan rem and Tegan reminds Nyssa of her inner strength and Tegan screams. That's what I'm going to finish off this episode because that is uh, my review for Goth Opera Part 1. So it's three different episodes. So I thought that's probably the best way to do it. So let me know what you thought of a Goth Opera Part 1. Um, yeah, let me know what you thought about uh, part one of my review of Got Opera. Um, in the comments uh, below. I've said that wrong. Yeah. Let me know what you thought about part one of my review of Goth Opera if you. No. No, no, no. Wrong. I'm, I'm getting the outro wrong. Right. Let me know what you thought about part one of Goth Opera if you listened to it. My review didn't give you thoughts on both of those in the comments below as well. With anything else you want me to cover on the channel, could be a review session for your favourite TV show or movie, such as The Boys, House of the Dragon, Fallout, Hitman, Argyle, and Back to the Future Part 2 of some I've had already, um, as well as maybe book or comic uh, recommendations. So I've had Avengers Forever comic series, I'll be covering that. Or um, your favourite news about for a TV show or movie, because I've previously mentioned. I'll cover it, be covering all the news from D23 and San Diego Comic Code 24 when I'm reviewing this and when you're seeing this uh, recording and releasing. Uh, San Diego Comic Code has gone, but I will get to it. It's just because, as I mentioned last episode, my laptop had been repaired, so the days of recording, I didn't have those days. So, yes, um, that's just the way it worked. Uh, but, yes, next time on the Everything Podcast, I'll be continuing with my review. Of Goth Opera with part two of my review. Here's the trailer for Goth Opera. I wouldn't mind a taste of Morrissey. What do you think his blood would taste like? Milky tea, love. From Big Finish Productions, Doctor Who, Goth Opera. You may call me Ruath. I am a Time Lord of Gallifrey. <laughs> the ring I wear shows the great seal of Rassilon. I know the secrets of your past, and I know the great destiny that awaits you. 
You're flying. What are you? You've got an interesting mind. You're not human, are you? How do you know? <gasps> no! No! No, get away from me! <gasps> I don't want to die. Not up to me. Sorry. Lita? You okay? Tegan! Tegan, what's going on? Are you certain you're all right? I just need to rest. It's Nissa you should worry about. I am worrying. Yes, I know that face. What face? The I'm missing something important face. Am I? Maybe I am. They called themselves the Great Vampires. To this day, the very mention of their name strikes fear in the heart of every true Gallifreyan. I am Yarvan, Lord of the House of Yar, father of all the Earth's undead. Kneel before me. The power of the Time Lords in your veins. All of time and space is yours to explore and to conquer. Together, we shall be queen and king of the night. We will unite the humans and the Time Lords in the great communion of the undead. Together, nothing will be beyond our reach. Big finish for the love of stories. That was the trailer for Goth Opera. And remember, you could also like, comment, and subscribe. And that's it for this episode of the Everything Podcast. Goodbye.